fight. Well, um, unfortunately, you you, you took you. my turn. Oh, I'm the, sorry. The lines that are ahead. You want to read your turn? How about if you read the lines that were ahead, okay, and then sure. I'll and then That's I'll fine. I'll do the. For we that for are which. in this tabernacle do groan. No, you did it again. It's for your lines are for which cause we faint not. Uh, okay, hmm. okay, okay. Uh, why don't we just start all over again? Mm -hmm. Responsive readings is from Second uh, Corinthians. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our heart to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ Jesus. Your turn, James Squaw. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might, through the thanksgiving of many, redound to the glory of God. For which cause we faint not, but through our outward man perish, yet the inward man renewed by day by day. For we know that if our earthly house is of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Chip. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Your turn, James. Now he that hath wrought us for the selfsame thing is God, who also hath given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. The following citations comprise our sermon. Now James Squaw is going to read the Bible, so have the lower thirds of the Bible, not the Dead Sea Scrolls. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Section 1, the Holy Bible, Peter. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which wars against the soul. Hebrew, these all died in faith, not having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them confessed that they were strangers and pilgrim on the earth. Chip. As announced in explanatory note, I shall also read correlative passages with key to the scriptures, Science and Health by the Reverend Mary Baker Eddy. Whoever opens the way in Christian science is a pilgrim and a stranger, marking out the path for generations yet unborn. Pilgrim on earth, thy home is heaven. Stranger, thou art the guest of God. Take it away, James Squaw. Now here you'll be reading the Dead Sea Scrolls. Mm -hmm. The Dead Sea Scrolls. The Book of Song of the Sage. They shall rejoice in God with jubilation, and I will thank thee for because of God's glory. Thou hast set knowledge on my foundation of God to praise him. The book of apocryphal psalms, because you, Lord God, are my praise, and in you I hope all the day. The living person, the live person, can praise you, God. Adorn God with a spirit of loyalty and knowledge. God increases his compassion on those who give God glory. Albert. Uh, my turn, Albert Herman. Science and Health by the Reverend Mary Baker Eddy. Don't forget my lower thirds. All right. Glory be to God and peace to the struggling heart. Christ have rolled away the stone from the door of human hope and faith and through the revelation and demonstration of life in God have elevated them to the possible at one minute with the spiritual idea of man and his divine principle love. Ask yourself, am I living the life that approaches the supreme good?
Am I demonstrating the healing power of truth and love? If so, then the way will grow brighter unto the perfect day. Your fruits will prove what the understanding of God brings to man. Take it away, James Wall. Section 2, the Holy Bible, Psalms. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Second Corinthians. Now, thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ, and maketh manifest the savour of his knowledge by us in every place. Abbot. Oh, thank you, uh, science and health. Millions of unprejudiced minds, simple seekers for truth, weary wanderers athirst in the desert, are waiting and watching for rest and drink. Give them a cup of cold water in Christ's name and never fear the consequences. Those who, those ready for the blessings you in part will give thanks. Gratitude is much more than a verbal expression of thanks. Action expresses more gratitude than speech. Take it away, uh, James Wall. The Dead Sea Scrolls, the book of apocryphal psalms. With a powerful voice, give glory to God in the assembly of many, proclaim his glory. The person, man or woman or child who gives glory to the Most High is accepted like one who being an offering, like one who offers goats and bullocks. Book of Blessing and Curse. Words of Blessing of the Instructor. To bless those who fear God, do His will, keep His commandments, remain consistent in His holy covenant, and walk with perfection on all the paths of His truth, which endures forever. Chip. Science and Health by the Reverend Mary Baker Eddy. The days of our pilgrimage will multiply instead of diminish when God's kingdom comes on earth. For the true way leads to life instead of death. An earthly existence discloses the finity of error and the infinite capability of truth in which God gives man dominion over all the earth. Christ's Christianity is the chain of scientific being reappearing in all ages, maintaining its observing correspondence with the scriptures and uniting all periods in the design of God. Now, um, Doug the dog has the closing song, but wait until he comes alive. <laughs> 